Attorney Anna Watts says she plans to initiate a lawsuit coming January if necessary to put an end to what she has described as punitive fee negotiations with addiction treatment facilities across the state. I've seen too many providers have to shutter their doors over the last two, two and a half years because of Medicaid cuts. And so um, I'm talking to folks and, and really considering the fact that we may need in Kentucky a lawsuit against the MCOs that says, you can't do this anymore. Watts, who represents about 10 addiction treatment companies in Kentucky, said today Addiction Recovery Care called to ask her if she was working on a solution to Medicaid's significant reimbursement cuts. I think there are a number of providers, including some of my clients, who are really struggling. And um, yes, we've all read stories that ARC has been under some audits and some review, and I'm, I'm not their attorney, so I can't speak to that. But I don't think it's surprising that an MCO is taking advantage of that situation where a provider is struggling and needs every dollar it can bring in and every patient it can treat uh, to sort of tell them, well, okay, take 30% less if you want to keep rendering services. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, your local vision experts, experienced doctors using state-of-the-art technology. Choose from top designer frames from Oakley, Ray-Ban, Nike, and more. We accept Medicaid and Medicare, plus most insurances are accepted. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, next to Tractor Supply. Addiction Recovery Care cited these cuts as part of the reason they had to close five facilities in mid-September. Some of those cuts have really been aimed at providers that the MCO thought were outliers. You're covering more or less than your peers are, or you're doing some kind of care that we aren't familiar with and your peers are not, so we're going to punish you. And so some of these cuts were aimed at providers who were already in trouble or under audit, and some of it was aimed at providers who are really innovative, who are trying new things, and maybe had, had learned from other states and thought we could implement that successfully in Kentucky. So it seemed to me, looking at the field and the complaints, that a lot of this was punitive. It was, we don't like what you're doing, act like everyone else, or we're going to cut you 40% or 30% instead of five. Addiction Recovery Care spokesperson Vanessa Keaton gave an update on the cuts and said the company had received near final or possibly final word from Kentucky Medicaid that there would be about 30% cuts in reimbursement for services, including lab work such as drug testing. When I look at the Medicaid fee schedule, it seems to me that that fee schedule is what a provider should be paid. I don't understand looking at the Medicaid fee schedule and saying, I'm going to pay you 80% and you 60% and you 90%. That has no benefit to the public or to providers. And so we're looking for language in the law that said a provider should be paid 100% of the Medicaid fee schedule unless there is a real statewide reason. Watts encourages citizens to speak with their state representatives about the fee practices. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Compton.